one. Hi, it's Carrie Miller, and I'm here with Sandra Knight, the very lovely founder and owner of Chicago Coffee Roaster. Sandra, tell us a little bit about your business. Hi, I'm nice to see you. Sorry. <laughs> I started the company back in 1990, and I... Uh, came in knowing that there was a niche for a fresh roasted product. So the company's based on uh, roasting product to order and not having warehoused coffee in the warehouse. So as you order your order, we roast that day and ship it out to you that day. So your coffee's about 24 hours old when you get it. And coffee's very much like a produce, the fresher the better. When I taste your coffee, it's really obvious that this is a very fresh robust but not bitter cup of coffee and I think to myself how come coffee doesn't taste this way in most restaurants? Does it have something to do with the age of the coffee? Usually it does. Um, most companies pack their or their coffee and ha usually have a six month supply on the shelf. We don't do that. Every month we do our pre-measured uh, pre packets so we're turning it over very quickly. And good coffee should never be bitter. A lot of people think um, Bitter coffee is just that it was cooked too long or you know, sitting on the burner too long. And it's not true. If you have a good coffee, it will never be bitter. And what's this whole thing about over-roasted coffees? There's some very large chains that serve coffee that's so bitter and robust, you know, you think to yourself, oh man, what is this? What's that all about? Well, the longer you roast your coffee, the more of the nuances that you take out of the bean. So actually, if you have a, a nice dark coffee with just a little bit of oil on the surface of the bean, you still get the nuances of the country. Mm. Where when you over roast it, when you take it to the extreme that it's black and the oils aren't even on it anymore, you lose a lot of the nuances of the countries. Is that part of the reason a lot of that over roasted, very dark coffee all tastes the same? Exactly. Very, very interesting. Every country should have a different flavor. Excellent. Yes. Now, in addition to the fine coffee that you sell, you also have quite a bit of product for the coffee shops and restaurants. Tell our readers what else you offer. I distribute for Tirani, um, which is the flavored syrups that you can put in your coffees, usually in your cappuccino drinks. And then I also distribute for Big Train, which has a, um, a smoothie bases and uh, chai tea, which is very, very popular. We have some uh, high-end tea companies that we deal with, too. Novus Tea is one of them. Um, we have Stash Tea, too, and we also do Ghirardelli chocolates. So it sounds like you're a full-service provider for people with an interest in selling and merchandising very high-margin coffee products. Yes, uh, the business came about, and my model was to be able to do a one-stop shop, and I listened to what my customers want. So that's how the business grew over the years. I started out with just coffee and Benchley's tea. And as the customers uh, recommended and wanted other products is the reason I brought them in. Very impressive. Well, congratulations Thank on your you. 22nd year. And if you'd like to learn more about Chicago Coffee Roastery, see their ad in Food Industry News or take a look at their website. Give them ChicagoCoffee.com or 1-800-762-5402. Thank you so much. Thanks.